Another question here. I'm helping a photographer create a theme. Do I need to get model rights? Uh, absolutely. Any content in the theme that you look to distribute on BlackBerry App World today needs to have the rights from the photographer, the model, uh, any music rights, and any subject matter. And if you have any questions about that from a distribution phase, please reach out to the storefront management team. I see a question here. Um, will we need our own OTA host to sell themes in, in App World? Uh, uh, absolutely not. You will. You won't need uh, to have that in place. Um, all you need to do is, is package your app up and submit it. Um, how customizable is the uh, banner area for the main screen? So basically, what you can do is you can change all the icons and all the fonts and move every item in the banner uh, around. Um, you can also go and have a full screen banner. So that means you can place the clock in the bottom right or the bottom left corner instead of having it all contained in the one area. Um, so uh, basically all you have to do is go into the banner area and click reposition uh, the objects and you're able to move all that stuff around. Um, are there any dependencies between themes and the BBUI language? Uh, currently, uh, no. So there's another question here about creating themes for multiple devices. Uh, currently today when you're creating themes, you have to create them for each individual device and test them on each individual simulator. With that said, you can actually import uh, your themes from that were created for one device for another and modify those existing assets to fit the capabilities of the new BlackBerry smartphone. Um, just the... Uh Question around um, the vetting that we do on your th on your themes that are submitted. Um, yes, each theme is verified as functional, and by functional we mean it doesn't impair the the usage of a BlackBerry, normal usage of a BlackBerry for our, our, our customers. If we do find something, uh, we do contact you right away and just let you know uh, either there was an error or um, the most common thing that we've seen is uh, the wrong. Wrong COD files uploaded. Uh, so another quick question about the the banner things here is it is there a way to add a totally new notification UI component to the banner? Uh, so you'll notice in some apps um, like the Facebook app um, that they'll actually show up up in the indicator area. So um, basically in the banner in the new items area, you just want to make sure that that's big enough. Uh, to contain all the different notifiers. So any new notif notification UI icon will actually be placed into that area. So make sure that's wide enough when you're developing your theme. So next question is, can I freely use the BlackBerry logo and themes to be sold in BlackBerry App World? Uh, no, those are actually registered trademarks of RIM. Uh, for full information on, on uh, what can and can't be in BlackBerry App World, please review the BlackBerry vendor Application World Vendor Agreement that's on our App World website. I see there there is a just a repeat question um, around uh, the copy of model rights if you're doing photography or, or and such as that. Um, that would be covered in our digital rights form that we do send out once you've submitted a theme, and uh, it'll ask you for that that type of information for our records. Um, there's a question here about um, is there a maximum size for fonts? So basically, um, in Theme Builder right now, the the maximum size that we allow is 50. So um, so uh, if there is a big push that users would like bigger fonts than that, uh, then by all means, uh, uh, send us some email. All right. A uh, number of questions in here. Are, are there tutorials or resources for creating, for using BlackBerry Theme Studio? If you go to blackberry.com slash theme studio, we actually have a presentation from Dale from uh, one of our previous BlackBerry developer conferences where he creates a Halloween theme from beginning to end. Definitely watch that video on blackberry.com slash theme studio. We also have a number of documentation resources that are available. And finally, I'd encourage you to do, to visit our BlackBerry blogs, which are linkable off of that site where we often have tutorials that guide you through various aspects, and to visit our discussion forums where many members of the very large BlackBerry theme studio contribute ideas and tips and tutorials. Um, I see we have a question here um, around 
updating your theme and, and basically how that works through AppWorld, um, what would happen is if you if you um, got some feedback from your, your customers stating that they had found a few bugs um, and you were ready to submit um, you know uh, some updates to it, what you would do is you would actually create a new release to the already original release. Um, so let's say 1.0.0.0 and you create 1.0.0.1. And once you've uploaded that and we've approved that new release, um, same same um, things do apply, although we have been um, approving new releases um, for new themes around the 48 hours, which is, has been um, a bit, bit difficult for us, but we're, we are pushing as hard as we can. Um, but what, what would that what that would do once that that goes and propagates through our system? It will actually notify anyone that has your theme installed through BlackBerry AppWorld that there is a new uh, a new release and to go and, and to download it. Um, so uh, this is from George again. Not sure if uh, my question was answered, but I was wondering about animating weather wallpaper linked to actual weather. Uh, so currently, the, with the way that it's set up right now, there's no way to inject uh, live data into the SVG. Um, so to know what the weather is and then actually change your wallpaper to the actual, um, so say it was raining and you want to bring up a, uh, like a cloudy picture of something, um, you cannot do that right now the way it's set up. But we're looking into ways and allowing users to do that in the, in the future. Um, I'll take one more. When loading uh, ringtones, can you load multiple ones at the, in the same theme? So currently the limitation is just one ringtone per theme. So there's a question here in terms of uh, will there be a transcript available of this call and the answers to these questions? What we're going to do is uh, in the next coming days what we'll do is we'll go through a list of the questions and including the ones that we won't be able to get to in this call. And we'll actually post them in our uh, BlackBerry forums. If you go to blackberry.com slash theme studio, there's a link to the discussion forums where we'll post the answers to these. Uh, question, is there a minimum number of devices required uh, to submit a theme? Um, I would say uh, definitely there's not. If you enjoy building for uh, the 9700, then by all means build for the 9700. Uh, but one thing you might want to keep in mind is, is maybe targeting uh, screen size, um, which, which might be a, a bit easier. Uh, another question from X here is, uh, one frustration I have as a developer is that separate theme files need to be created and numerous exports done for multiple devices. Has there been any effort made to simplify or streamline the process of making themes for multiple devices? So yeah, we're quite aware of uh, you know the pain points and stuff like that. The the issues uh, surround the OS and that some OSs uh, are different. Um, for example, the the 8900 has uh, does not have SVG home or phone screens in them, um, whereas the newer ones like the 9700, which is of the same form factor, uh, does. Uh, so differences in the OS system uh, require us to produce uh, different kinds of themes for those uh, different devices. So uh, we're looking at better ways in the future to optimize that. So uh, at, at the very least, for all the uh, similar form factors, you'd be able to create uh, like one export and have those go out to the multiple devices there. So the next question is, I only have a BlackBerry Storm. Can I test on other BlackBerry devices? And the best way to do that is actually to download BlackBerry simulators from the BlackBerry Developer Zone. If you go to blackberry.com slash developers slash simulators, you can actually download simulators for all of the in-market BlackBerry smartphones, install them, and uh, directly launch them from BlackBerry Theme Builder and BlackBerry Composer for testing your content and seeing how they would look and act on various devices. So there, there's a question again just around the, the $200 and the uh, amount of, I guess, slots um, for Harry. Basically, um, yes, so you are right, Harry. Uh, basically what does happen is um, you have 10 slots available. Every time you have to create a new release, 